Welcome back to Harry Makes Up, guys. I'm here today with my lovely friend and fantastic stylist, Gemma Roseberger. Hello. And she has an amazing blog that you have to go check out. What's the address of your blog so people it can is. see it? Where is it from? Blogspot.com, but where spelt W E A R. So W E A R is it from <laughs> blogspot.com. We're going to have a little chat, all things beauty, all things fashion. I'm in Gemma's gorgeous house, which I'm going to show you around as well. We're near her wardrobe right now, which is a mass of amazing colours and prints and we're going to do some sneaky peeks through that, but I just wanted to ask you first, Gemma, what made you want to become a stylist? What kind of, um, what inspired it? It was when, I remember when I was a kid and I used yeah. to watch things with the Spice Girls in it and I used yes. to always say that I want to make Victoria Beckham look better or dress <laughs> better and I didn't even know what a stylist was then yeah. um, and I didn't actually know that you could make a career out of shopping yeah. um, but I just knew I wanted to do something <coughs> to do with fashion and that was kind of the closest thing that it yeah. would tie into. And what was your first kind of like style moment where you feel like you, you saw yourself in a way that you like, I've just made myself stylish or you brought something. I remember I've got two sisters and my mum used to dress us all up the same. So we had this outfit that was um, a black and white polka dot, like rara skirt and a little black velvet jacket and Amazing. a handbag that was a little black velvet heart. Oh. And we all used to wear the same thing and we all used to look like Minnie Mouse. And weirdly now, even Minnie Mouse is kind of a bit of my style inspiration. Like love I still that. love red, white, black, polka yeah. dots and stripes and monochrome. Um, <laughs> so I remember when we used to wear these outfits and we used to think we were all really cool. But... What is it that we need to see in terms of preps is, do you have a favorite piece? I mean, I know that's probably the hardest thing to ask you um, in terms of. I do maybe have about odd, three. Yeah, okay, <laughs> yeah. Let's just three. Have three. Well, let's have three. Um, so one of, one of my favorites is this. It was, it was the Versace for H&M wow, collection incredible. that happened. Um, that's beautiful. I absolutely love it. I love the detail, I love the that's print, stunning. I love the fringing, and it's got little like cutout bits here. That's really so nice. cute. I so love the colours of that. That's one of my favourites. That's gorgeous. Um, this is like an old favourite. It's just a little top shop sequence. That is fantastic. I love really like garish, trashy looking. Yeah. Like, the more garish the better. Yeah. I'm yeah. such a magpie. Like anything with like sparkle and sequins. Amazing. And I think yeah. I used to be a mermaid in a past life. I don't know if I've told you this before. That could have been. Yeah and I feel like I just like anything that's like mermaid like so the shimmery now. Yeah. Um, this is actually another favourite. This was oh, actually wow, that's my grandma's dress. Um, <gasps> wow. I cut Stamp off the sleeves. Leaves. Oh my goodness. Upset. But it made it look better. That is um, incredible. Yeah, it's she doesn't remember what she wore it to. Um, I know, I wish she had photos of what she did. It's nice, wore. isn't it, when an outfit has a bit of history to yeah. it or like a memory? Yeah. It kind of makes it more special. I that is stunning. Detail. Let's do a close up of the detail on that as well. That um, is. We were basically exactly gorgeous. the same size. Like, <gasps> didn't get it altered, like, all her clothes fit me That's to a tee. Absolutely stunning. <laughs> In my Amazing. old house, I had this on display. Like, it just <gasps> used to sit on That's beautiful. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Do you ever still put it on just for fun? <laughs> recently, but look what's happened, like it's all... Oh my goodness, but it fixed. is absolutely stunning. We need to look at this detail, this it's is incredible. It's not as broken as this side. Wow, this is incredible. This is a detail from Gemma Roseberger's wedding dress. Mm -hmm. Lucky girl. There's going to be lots of people wanting that dress now and... <laughs> No, we can have it. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I'd like to be invited to Elton John's white tank because then I could wear you it. You could wear it again, yeah, I totally. I don't actually think there's any other occasions that I could ever wear it. These were my best. Um, car boot sale bargain there at Moschino. <gasps> and they Amazing. Okay, we need a full close up, a full so length of these. Like, my husband got me this for my birthday at Charlotte Olympia. <gasps> Amazing. I, I do love, I love a Charlotte Olympia bag or shoes. Detail, like the little spider's web. Beautiful. Like Charlotte's web. That's so um, cute. So I love that. That's stunning. That's okay, so how would you describe your style, Gemma, if you had to kind of sum it up? Do you feel it, it can be described or is it always um, changing? Someone asked me this a long time ago and the easiest thing to say was just like, I danced my own tune. Just depends mm. totally, like, when I wake up, what my mood is, what the weather is. Um, very rarely rely on trends or anything as yeah. such. It's so hard though when things become seasonal, like how beanie hats are like cool now. Yeah. The heck, it's really cold and this is the only thing <laughs> that keeps it warm and looks cool. So Practical, this yeah. why you have to go with these things. Yeah. Um, I totally chop and change. Sometimes I'll go through a phase where I'm only wearing monochrome for ages. Yeah. Sometimes I'll be in like really garish sequins and like crazy prints and stuff. Yeah. Um, I love a bow tie. I always wear mm. a shirt and a bow tie. That's the kind of my standard. Look. Yeah. So 
So we're in the shoe room. Gemma, are you gonna, do you have a favourite pair? Um, I have like monthly favourites, so <laughs> I'll be obsessed with a pair for a month and then I'll totally forget I even have them because I would have moved on to another pair. Yeah. So this month is, if I can find them, <laughs> <they're>, <laughs> these. Um, oh, wow, just, they're incredible. ASOS. Yeah. I love these shoes. They're really they're comfortable. They're fantastic. Actually. I quite like wearing white in winter. These so. are also another favourite. Just like, I love just a cheapy shoe. I think these were like £20. Like, like, these were my wedding shoes. That oh, are, wow. Um, I can imagine these with the dress. They're incredible. And I love, like, they've got the heels, the heart. Oh, so that's beautiful. The beach, that's so such a heart print. Oh, that's goes along so the sand. lovely. What a nice um, speech. In terms of 2014, what do you think is kind of going to be a big style? Any kind of style predictions you have or anything that you think we should kind of watch out for? Um, kind of always ends up being the same in the wor words of Miranda Priestley from Devil Wears Prada. Floral <laughs> for spring, groundbreaking. Um, the usuals, the pastels, a lot of the sort of mermaid iridescence, that's quite a big thing. Um, I saw like the Ashish show for spring, summer 14 and the pieces were amazing but he's always a little bit of a wild card. Like takes it a little bit further than what would be just a normal trend and it was all like head to toe sequins and he's done a collaboration with Coca-Cola which was amazing and yeah his pieces were unreal so that's one of my favourite things that I'm looking forward to. And for anyone wanting to start out as a stylist do you have any kind of top tips for anyone wanting to become a stylist? Um, best thing is work experience just try and get in there with any stylist you can or on magazines um, and always ask how you can help, what you can do. I've had a few girls that come on shoots with me and they just sit in a corner and they don't really do anything. That's not going to get you anywhere, that's not going to get you remembered. So you need to just make sure you go above and beyond and just try really hard to show that you really, really want to get into the industry and that you really, really want to become a stylist and to be involved. So just be really helpful. So this is the every makeup day. table. This is all I wear every day. I'm not a big makeup fan at all. Yep. I don't know. I wouldn't even know how to experiment. Like, <laughs> I'm terrible at it. So always... But it's quite a personal thing, isn't it, makeup? I think that's the thing. Even if you don't wear much, when you do wear makeup, everyone has an idea of what they like, yeah. what it is they kind of want yeah. to wear. Exactly, totally. And yeah. I'm always, like, as white as a ghost. And I quite like, I quite like being pale. It's yeah. quite interesting, apparently. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so this MAC blusher called Pink Swoon that... Last love me, that one last me about a year probably wow um, brilliant it's dying a slow day <laughs> um powder that's natural collection that i think costs 199 amazing probably go through we love about, a bargain we love a bargain probably about one a year i don't really understand what it does but it makes me feel better than powder. i feel like that's what you're meant to do um, a broken brush that i've had forever and now harry's going to shout at me because i no, don't fine. really wash it or get a new one or anything we're going to change that we'll do a blog post yeah. and send it to you everyone how to clean your brushes yeah, I, I can do with that um eyebrow pencil because like the brows yeah sometimes you have good brows Gemma has very good brows very penciled we like Who's it. This? Rimmel. <laughs> and we're sat by Rimmel. Yeah. So then these one. three are all Rimmel. Um, I love this liquid eyeliner. I've used this like forever. Yeah. I just love that nib. It's the it's only really, one. Really, really good. Does. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and the same with the mascara. Um, a Rimmel mascara I've used forever. So the only thing that's changed recently is my mother in law gave me this as part of my Christmas present, Ooh. which is Benefit, which is really fancy for me because this is all like old and scabby. <laughs> and it's actually really good. Like yeah. I was scared about having a new mascara. If I ever wear a, a lipstick, it was always Ruby Woo from MAC, which is a golden oldie, isn't it? Yeah. I think it's something that everyone in the beauty industry, whether you're a stylist, photographer, makeup artist, yeah. Everyone has a Ruby Woo. Yeah, it's funny. Totally. It's it is one of that. it Always, is. Anytime anyone's wearing red lipstick, you're like, yeah, is that Ruby Woo? Woo? Yeah, I think I it's. I love how it stays on. Yes. Like, it's the only thing that actually stays on. So we're just looking for your favourite pieces, aren't we, Gem? And these are a little, little collection, kind of a summary almost. Yeah. So I'm a big fan of gold jewellery and big gold chunky statement jewellery. Um, these two in particular are my favourite, although I'm a huge pineapple Amazing. fan. Amazing. Um, they're both from Susan Kaplan Vintage Collection, who Fantastic. sell the biggest and best range of all vintage jewellery. Um, and they sell it all in Harvey Nichols and Harrods and everything. But the best wow. part of it is that Susan Kaplan's actually my mum. Very so, nice. <laughs> big bonus. <laughs> so things like this Chanel that I was supposed to borrow... Um, yeah, but that was about three years ago, and now I've actually think it's theft. 
Um, and she thinks she's getting it back, but she's not. Um, but I love it. Yeah, I wear that piece. All it's the time. amazing. Yeah, yeah. I think whenever I see you in that, yeah. I just think, oh, I need that in my life. Oh, it's it. amazing. Um, so this is the Chanel I got for talked my about earlier. For yeah, my first birthday. So beautiful. So classic. Yeah. Then this is a piece um, from the Versace by for H and M mm. collection. Um, absolutely love this jacket. So good. The kind of. Um, the range is where the designers collaborate, I think, with H&M, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, it's amazing. I'm always a fan. I hate when you hear people who sort of put it down and are like, ugh, it's only bloggers that wear these pieces. Yeah, it's they amazing. are wearable, aren't yeah, they? And you exactly. get a bit more kind of quality for your money. Yeah, I'm not allowed to buy the full yeah. price for Versace jacket. My husband will kill me. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I love this. I think it's a great piece. Beautiful. I love the velvet and the detail and the buttons as well. Yeah, it's stunning. It's yeah, really cool. Love that. Um, these are two previous birthday presents from my husband who has done very well a yes he best gets 10 bear. points i think yeah and that's bell, which i also wear that's amazing yeah <laughs> um then this bag i just got recently in india um in a market in delhi that's amazing i think it was about five pounds and it's just so, so lovely, beautiful like velvet lining inside it's like treasure isn't it it really does yeah. look like a piece of treasure that Absolutely. you would find like in a yeah. treasure chest it's just so lovely like the, the detail details incredible yeah, love that. that. That's amazing, like and I love that the it. chain is really long as well. Yeah, it's so true. That it's makes it really long. chic, yeah. like the sort of like any outfit. Yeah, and I'm not like a big handbag person. I'm yeah, like, such a fan of small bags. It's more like a piece of art, really, isn't yeah. it, than yeah, an actual. Yeah, um, and then this is <clears throat> the latest thing I've bought off ASOS because it still has the label on it. Um, <laughs> but it's just a combination of everything that I love, like the sequins, the monochrome, the stripes. Yeah, it's Something. a Gemma top. Thank you so much, Gemma, for letting me come and chat beauty with you, chat styling and letting me see your amazing wedding dress and all the things I've seen today. I'm very jealous and I have a very long shopping list. Well, we're going to put um, links below as well um, in the description box to Gemma's blog as well. Thanks very much, Gemma, for showing us your table of treasures.